Dear friends, today we are going to understand a great deal about the Panchamukhi Hanuman Kavach. Kindly recite the Kavacham only under your Guru's guidance because each line contains extremely powerful Bija Aksharas which activate Sri Hanuman's raw energy. The recitation can cause harm if a person leads a non-celibate life, has impure thought patterns and unclean erratic food habits. Such recitation can also adversely affect the family of the reciter. As Hanumanji is a brahmachari, there is no Hanuman sadhana without celibacy and pure vegetarian lifestyle. One should particularly avoid non-veg food, eggs, any form of meat, onion, garlic, mushrooms and red lentils at all costs if this sadhana has to be taken up. Therefore, a sadhaka should keep these points in mind before taking up the recitation of this kavacham. Now, let's see who composed the Panchamukhi Hanuman Kavach. The hymn starts with Sri Garuda Uvacha, indicating that Sri Garuda is the speaker. In the Kavach, Sri Garuda attributes the work to the Lord of Lords, but doesn't clearly mention the name. However, the ending lines suggest that Sri Rama narrated the Kavach to his consort Sita Devi on being requested by her. Panchamukhi Hanuman Kavach is one of the most potent hymns. Though Lord Hanuman is famous as a Rama Bhakta, a highly sattvic form, he is equally venerated in the Tantra traditions. The Panchamukhi Hanuman is a very common deity among Tantrics. Let us understand why. This form of Lord Hanuman is often portrayed with a dagger in hand. Daggers are conventionally used to confront enemies in close battles. Thus, the dagger in Hanumanji's hands indicates his readiness to come to our aid and fight our enemies. Every individual has enemies on two platforms. One is on the mental and the other is on the physical platform. A worshipper of Panchamukhi Hanumanji becomes competent to tackle both kinds of enemies. Let us look at the history of this exquisite form of Hanumanji to grasp the key highlights. The Panchamukhi form connects us to the netherworld, the abode of the two demons Ahi and Mahi Ravana. Fears, lower tendencies and desires dominate this region. Though we attribute the nether regions as external realms, they symbolically exist within every human being. The dark unconscious mind which manifests as surreal dreams, nightmares, vivid negative thoughts, etc. are nothing but subtle manifestations of the nether worlds. Similarly, ghosts too are our own dark world's projection. A person comes to experiencing ghosts only after a certain degree of negativity has overpowered the mind. The Panchamukhi Hanuman lords over this domain. He grants freedom from negativity, enemies, ghosts, evil tendencies and everything that abounds in the nether regions. In the human system, this region is usually the Muladhara, Swadhisthana and to some extent the Manipuraka Chakra region. Hence, Tantrics venerate Panchamukhi Hanuman for Siddhis and occult powers. Now, let us see the story of Sri Panchamukhi Hanuman. During the deciding war, Ahi and Mahi Ravana captured Lord Rama and Lakshmana in Patala Loka, the nether world. The only tactful way of defeating the two demons was to extinguish five lamps at once. It seemed like an impossible task. However, Sri Hanuman turned himself into the Panchamukhi form. With five faces, he blew the lamps in one go, thus rescuing the two lords. The deeds and feats of the Lord give devotees an opportunity to express their devotion and admiration for the Lord. Hanumanji's glories are not merely limited to the miraculous feats he exhibited during his Leela. It goes way beyond that and words fall short in praising him. So now let us look at how the Lord is praised in this hymn. The name, surname and family tree are primary identifiers. Panchamukhi Hanuman Kavacham reveals the identity of Lord Hanuman by extolling him as Anjaneya, the son of Anjana. Lord Hanuman is also called Vayuputraya, the son of Vayudev. As life progresses, the merits and achievements define the identity of a being. Thus, Hanumanji is referred to as 
ब्रह्मांड नाथाया द लॉर्ड ऑफ द यूनिवर्स सीता शोक निवारणाया द डिस्पेलर ऑफ श्रीमती सीता देवी सौरो लंका दहन कारणाया द कॉज ऑफ लंकाज बर्निंग एक्सेट्रा देर आर काउंटलेस फैस्ट टाइम्स ऑफ श्री हनुमान जी महाराज एंड देर आर ब्रीफ मैं थ्रू आउट द कवच दस वाइल रिसाइटिंग दिस हिम ए डिवोटी गेट्स द बेनिफिट ऑफ रिकॉलिंग सेवरल इंस्टेंसेस एंड नेम्स ऑफ श्री हनुमान जी नाउ दिस इज अ प्यूरिफाइंग प्रैक्टिस हाउ इज दैट वेन आई से एन एपल सम माइट get an imagery of an apple while certain others might recall its taste while yet some others might get reminded of an instance eating an apple similarly with constant recitation of hanuman kavacham the mind shall spontaneously get drawn towards the names and qualities of sri hanuman the more the mind dwells in the lord's divine glories the more it shall feel joyous the mind Shall slowly move away from the problems of life and only observe the grace of Bhagavan manifest in his life. Reciting the Panchamukhi Hanuman Kavaj activates the combined powers of all the five deities. Let us know about them. The five faces of Panchamukhi Hanuman are as follows: One, Lord Hanuman is the front face. He faces the east, which is a very auspicious direction. Quite true to his nature, the recitation grants purity of mind and a sinless persona. Hanuman ji is the greatest devotee of Sri Rama, full of innocence and devotion. Hence, there can be no doubt of imbibing his wonderful qualities. Two, the second phase of Lord Narasimha Swami faces the south, the deity of death. Sri Yama resides in the southern direction. Thus, in this divine form, Sri Narasimha is facing the deity of death. it means that he shall protect the reciter from untimely death and losses just like he protected his devotee prahlada from his inimical father hiranyakashipu regular recitation destroys enemies and their foul plans the reciter emerges successful in every endeavor you may also like our video on the benefits of chanting ugram viram mantra 3 shri garuda faces the west direction the west direction is associated with success and prosperity lord garuda the celestial eagle of lord vishnu has his divine glance in this direction shri garuda protects the sadaka from poisonous creatures such as snakes and scorpions he had also saved lord rama from the serpent attack of meghnath indrajit symbolically the ill wishers and competitors can be alluded to as vicious snakes hence they too are predated upon by lord garuda the poison spewed by enemies shall be sucked by the lord and the path towards prosperity opens up even black magic and evil spells that cause road blocks in the life of the reciter get easily dispelled by the glance of lord garuda fourth sri varaha is the third face facing the north mother earth bhudevi is his chaste wife by their combined blessings the reciter enjoys earthly pleasures of wealth prosperity and food grains kindly watch our video on the benefits of varaha mantra to know more five finally the upward phase is of hayagriva one of the 24 incarnations of sri vishnu as the guardian of the vedas he blesses the reciter with knowledge and wisdom since vedas personify children lord hayagriva gives good parenting skills and obedient children he grants the ultimate aim of life moksha you may find our video on the benefits of hayagriva mantra interesting reading the kavacham daily for 10 continuous weeks gives unimaginable wisdom one develops deep realizations and insights about life when monitored by a tantrika guru the practice if continued for 11 weeks the reciter attains occult powers siddhis like predicting the future influencing others words manifesting into reality expanding or contracting time and so on lord hanuman gives these powers only if he feels the reciter is eligible for them in most cases siddhis cause downfall thus devotees should pray to the lord to keep siddhis away as they are the greatest obstacles in bhakti marga 
The Kavacham also seeks the blessings of Sri Ramachandra since Lord Hanuman is an inseparable part of Sri Rama. Before the Sankalpa, ritually install a photo or idol of Panchamukhi Hanuman in your house altar. Alternatively, one can fix a saffron flag of Sri Hanuman at the doorstep. To sum up, the attainments of this Kavach are wish fulfillment, cure of diseases, increase in fortune, healthy progeny, favor of the devatas, wealth, destruction of enemies, protection from tantra, ghosts and malefic planetary effects. It is best to surrender our desires to Lord Hanuman. This is because Lord Hanuman may take offense if our desires are unlawful. Just as a jeweler examines a gemstone before purchasing it, Lord Hanuman evaluates our deepest intentions before accepting us as his devotees. We get entry into his domain only after we match his criteria. The fruits of the Kavacham shall manifest only once the devotee of the great form of Sri Panchamukhi Hanuman has utterly become desireless and only seeks the love of Sri Hanuman. Utter desirelessness and Sharanagati is the only master key towards attaining the blessings of the Panchamukhi Hanuman Kavacha. This is an important caveat to take into account. Note that Hanumanji Maharaj shall fulfill no illegitimate desire, however hard one tries or desires using worthless techniques such as creative visualization, auto-suggestion, etc., which are mind games and within the material field of psychology. Sri Hanuman is way beyond the material realm and can only be impressed with simplicity of heart and total surrender where the mind is purged of all its poison. For example, these specific desires at the time of reciting the Hanuman Kavach will destroy one's life. They are desiring to live with another individual when married, wanting to ruin a competitor's business, cheating to acquire more wealth, etc. If the reciters have such toxic desires and intentions, Hanumanji shall punish those who invoke him for such immoral activities. The Lord is very particular. Hence, the sadhaka should have spiritual maturity before taking up any form of Hanuman sadhana. Only pure devotees of Hanumanji can know the heart of their Lord. They shall never invoke Him for unethical desires. As a Rama Bhakta, Hanumanji Maharaj always wants us to worship Sri Rama. Wasting time playing with the powers of this material universe is something that does not last and ultimately causes a massive downfall of the sadhaka. This is because the world is transient. Trying to acquire material powers only binds us to this plane and it blocks our journey ahead beyond this material world. Hanumanji always unites bhaktas with Sri Rama. Thus, with this inner intent, Hanumanji is ever pleased and does everything in favor of his devotee so that one does not feel deserted in this material world. Lord Hanuman shall make conducive arrangements, whether it be monetary, in family or at work. He shall support the devotee if the devotee is pure at heart and intentions. Hanumanji is truly pleased when we deem ourselves incapable and utterly powerless, thus depending on Sri Ramachandra's mercy alone.